Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode of Coromon with me, the Drew Gamer. In the last episode, we took on Volkar, which was very, very, very intense. We literally only just managed to do it. Um, so, at the end of that though, Rigel asked us to meet Nicola at the, the lab. Uh, he's going to make us put on our lab coat, so let's just do that. There you are, Drew. Please join us. Good. Everyone is here. I have something important to share. We looked, had a closer look at the video footage, and the conclusion came to this, unsettling. The energy that these, they call themselves... Wabonians used to abduct Thomas. Our team has verified that the injury is actually some sort of titan essence. What? How? So they are targeting the titans? I can neither confirm nor deny, but that is very likely. They were after the essence locator after all. Speaking of which, Thomas gave me the essence uh, located to me. Thanks for keeping it out of their hands, Drew. I'll take it from you to keep it safe. Alright, thanks, Rigel. The Warbians do not, not get their hands did not get their hands on the essence locator, but with Thomas in their grip, it is only a matter of time before they construct a new device. That is why I suggest Ju Drew keeps collecting the Titanesses before they do. While keeping an eye on out for any trace of Thomas, of course. That would mean so much to me. Still, the weird energy they use doesn't explain the monstrous Lumon. Let's take one step at let's take one step at a time. Our best scientists are re retracing the that Lumon steps as we speak. We'll know more once we capture it. Drew, I gather that you've already managed to obtain Volkar's essence. I did. Well done. I knew you were up to the task. The next time essence should focus on the city of Porbury, where my old friend Hugh awaits your arrival. The ghost essence is radiating deep within a mon monastery. Hugh can provide with a you with a key. Ooh, ghost essence. A ghost type Coromon coming up. I'll head back to Look Size Campus for now, and help uh, my team figure out what actually happened here. Stay strong, Nicola. We'll find a way to get Thomas back. Thank you, sir. Shine bright, especially in these dark times. Phone message from Engineer. Where's my phone? There it is. Hey there, we've developed new features for our battle researchers. Drop by at the campus, trainer hub, F1 for more info. Okay. Maybe we should go and do that before we continue on. Um, I think... We're going to be going through the swamp next. I keep doing that. The clothes are right there. And we also need to do the the second quest to get the um, uh, to to answer the questions for that guy. Uh, hall of the let's go. <clears throat> just just real quick. Drew, you must be here for a new throwing garment training. One moment, please. I'll go get the instructor. The what? Sir, the next battle researcher is ready. Hey, you. That throwing arm is looking mighty wimpy. Let me show you how you to get pumped. What? I'm so confused right now. <laughs> That's it, keep it up. <laughs> One more time. You got it. You really showed that punching bag. And what does that do? After training your throwing arm, your chance to catch wildcard man is now increased. What? Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I really like that. That was really, I, I mean, the way that we did it was completely and utterly random, but that was really cool. Uh, so my thinking is that because we've done this, Donut Island, and then we came across here, we did that. Um, we need to go back to Woodlow Harbor, which up here will be our next destination. Because there was that area where he was like, oh yeah, this, the swamp is blocked off right now. You need to go to Donut Island. So let's head on over there. I wonder what new Coromon we're gonna play. Hmm.
See, he's disappeared now. So we can we read this? Soggy swamp. Okay, let's let's see what Soggy Swamp has in store for us. Um, welcome to Soggy Swamp. Make sure you brought an extra pair of socks. <laughs> um, hello? Don't move. The front system scan is detected something potentially harmful. I'll handle this, Scout. You step back, please. Hello? Show us. Why did you bring the backpack of yours? Not that, that's just your average everyday cake. How about this? Stop messing with me. You hear anything that radiates? Could even be something smelly? Oh, I think I know. You heard this guy, this must be the culprit. It's the energy they call Titan Essence. Titan Essence? We've heard about it from our Scoutmaster, didn't we? He said that long ago, the Titans created this whole planet. The same energy flows through all organic beings, especially Coromon. Scoutmaster would definitely approve this item. Don't you think so, guys? I'll whitelist it in the machine so you can pass freely. Are you going to steal it from me? You can move through now. So, are you guys some kind of bouncers? Oh, of course. Let us introduce ourselves. We are the Soggy Scouts. We're the official caretakers of the Soggy Swamp. Protecting the environment is our game. Who else can call the area from scented super shrooms? If we don't snip them, they take over everything. But we can't do it alone. That's why we ask everyone to help lend a hand. Pocket snips. <laughs> You're not only helping us, snipping shrooms could be valuable for you too. Snipping off shrooms and Asfo can help you make your own Coromon scents. Interested? Just take a look at our scent recipe book. Oh, that's cool. But stay sharp when snipping shrooms. There's only a 10 second window. I plan for you to explain more. Okay. Super shroom timetable. Please only snip scented super shrooms when they are ripe. Definitely not ripe. Through the previous century. Getting there. Don't look away. Ripe. Miss your chance. Okay. But no worries if you miss one, just run off next time. Or wait a few minutes until the right one again. Well, we best be off, gotta make sure everyone keeps snipping. I'll be at a kiosk, come to me once you're ready to brew shrooms. Brew shrooms. Brew sense. Soggy Scouts out. Okay, well, I want to, um. 200 gold. Um. Well, I assume you're the evolution of uh, of uh, Tadol, so that means I don't want to catch you though, because I want to <clears throat> I want to catch a I want to catch a Tadol and train it up. What did that? Okay, it did damage. It's level nineteen as well. Okay, accuracy decrease. That looks super cool though. I really like that. Um. So if that's the case. I hope there's titles here. Let's have a look. Because I couldn't find title. Felt escape. No, I don't want to ignore pain. That's so cool. Okay, so we're going to continue on a little bit. Just, I'm going to find some other grass. Okay, so she's there. Lampire, okay. Is it just like a really small... Is this like just a really small area or something? No, there's a Coromon. He's one of the kids, isn't he? <laughs> Gar slime. Did I? <clears throat> Come on, give me a tattle. A beasel. Okay. 
I don't understand why you would be able to find this but not Taddle. Got to get away, okay. Right, so I didn't find the Taddle yet, but we'll give it a go. We'll just keep going a little bit further. Oh, that's a different colored one. So they do have, right, okay. So that confirms what I was asking like a while ago. Do, uh, will they ever have potent or perfect ones? And the answer is yes. I, wa I really want a Taddle though. I don't just want to catch its evolution. <clears throat> So hopefully, I'll be able to find one. I just wanted to, to uh, maybe it's like further in or something. Maybe it's in it. So this, right? Okay, this is very important. This is Bitty Bolt, and they did a competition for someone to create their own Coromon, and this was the winner. And I really like Bitty Bolt. Like now that I've, now that we've seen it more in game and stuff, it is it is, looks different to um, because in Gen two of Pokemon, they, there was a a, um, a Tiger Pokemon that they didn't. What did it just do? Oh, it used all its SP to do that. Uh, there was a Tiger Pokemon that was cut, which really sucked because I loved it. Um, and a lot of people thought that the person who created this basically just put that in Coromon. They used that as their design, but it was it was based on their own cat. And it just happened to be an electric type. And it's such a cool design. I I actually entered that competition, um, and I did. <laughs> I'll put it on screen. I did a um. Penguin called Plaguin, and it was it was a plague doctor penguin, and it carried around a, a lantern. Right. Okay. So, waking summoner's potential. Let's do that. Viper goes level fourteen. Okay. I feel like I'm very underleveled now, though. <laughs> After Volgar, I feel like I'm very underleveled. Um, oh, thanks. He actually did give me some. Um, I just really want to... I just really, 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 really want a title. And I'm not finding one, and it's really upsetting. <laughs> yes, I can, I can catch this evolution, but it's not... I want to be able to, you know... Oh, great. Catch, it, catch the Pokemon. At the Pokemon, the Coromon, Jesus Christ. So what I might do is... Oh, come on. What I might do is I might cut away until I find one and then we'll come back. I'm hoping it's not a case of like with Nexomon and like once you reach a certain point, you only find evolutions of... Coromon or like you have an increased chance of finding evolutions. I'd rather fight the base forms in the areas and stuff. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm still looking for Taddle, but I just wanted to show you something and this is probably really obvious and I just never tried it. Um, I, w I came here and I noticed there was a, a gap up the coast. So I was like, okay, let me just run up there. And there's a chest and then I found a battle on the coast. And I found this. Uh, tin Shell, I think it's called. Yeah, Tin Shell. And then I also found that this is where you get... Um, fiddly as well. So... I discovered that. And then there's also something else I want to show, show as well. Um, once I... So you're a... Uh, what does that do? Evasion increase, okay. 
Uh, you must be a sand type. So I'm kind of curious. I kind of want to put it on my team. If we can catch it. Because it seems to be a very defensive and evasive Coromon. So it's interesting that it's another Fiddler Crab though. Oh, well, not a fiddly crab, but like a uh, hermit crab, because I thought fiddly, well, it's probably a fiddly crab then, yeah, but you know what I mean, it was kind of the same sort of theming. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch it, but we'll give it a go. Oh, I did catch it, okay, tin shells got, let's have a look at that then. Um... So it is a sand type. Tin shell, common, woodlow harbor, scratch, toughen up and burrow. <clears throat> Wet coat. The Coromon feels at home in rain, increasing its speed. Okay, interesting. So we're going to call him. <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is going. We're going to call him Bastion because he's got like the shell on his back. Bastion. And like a Bastion. There you go. Um, squad is full. Play squad member. Do I want to get rid of Doug 2? I kind of do. I want to test out this one. Bastion is swapped out for Doug 2. Okay, cool. Uh, all 12 grew to level 16 and learn Scary Vision. Okay, so I might cut back and I'll run up and down here, see if we can find anything else other than Fiddly, and we'll see. And then, there's all, like I said, there's also something else I wanted to try as well. Okay, so I caught a Fiddly on the coast area where I was. And I called it Pinchy. But, interestingly, if you come to this patch of grass in the Woodlow Forest, and I'm, I didn't know this because I don't think I ever ran through it, you have a chance of finding a rare Coromon. So I'll give it a couple of battles, and if I can't find it, I'll cut back to it. And we find it. Bitty Bolt. So I am very much going to put this on my team. I can't not put it on my team. Uh, I've just got to be careful because it's only level 8. Um, but, you know, we, we we have to use the uh, the Coromon that won the competition in the Let's Play. I just look at it, it's adorable. And if I can't use um, the Pokemon Little Electric Tiger, then I'm going to use this instead. We'll put it in a Static Spinner as well. So we need to keep an eye on for, out for those as well. Um, so let's have a look. Scrapper. The Coromon doesn't mind physical attacks and reduces their damage by 25%. That's actually really good. Chomp and cute pose. Okay. Awesome. Right. Two hours that took me to find a Taddle. So... <laughs> I'm going to... Take out one of them. I don't know what either of them has in terms of abilities or anything, but hopefully I can catch one. Oh, thank God. That took so, so long. I, I ended up going up and to the right of the area that we start in. Don't kill it. It's got toxic skin. Okay. I'm fine with that. That's fine with me. Okay. So we're going to throw our spinner. Hopefully we can catch it. That's the next step. Hey, we got it. Right. Saddle was caught. Yes, please. Um... Water type, spinner, no, no, no. slush. Okay, so it's got an ice type move. It's got slam, it's got ignore pain, and it's, we know it's got a toxic, toxic skin. So we're going to call it dart. Because I don't know if Fibio is it. Um, I'm going to send back for now. We're going to send back Viper. I don't know if Fibio is the final form of it. But... It's, it looks like a poison dart frog, so I thought, you know what, dart. And okay, so, right. I will be right back, because I need to go off and heal, get some items and stuff, and then we'll continue on. And I don't know how long this is, how long I've 
recorded anything or, and stuff, so we'll see. Okay, so now that I've got Taddle off screen, I have done a little bit of training. Um, I decided <clears throat> that I'm not going to be using Bitty Bolt, uh, and there is a reason for that. Uh, because we're not going to be using Fenrir in this playthrough. I'm just using him for now. Um, so I've put Orthrot back on a team and I've got him up a couple of levels. Uh, Bastion, I've used a little bit, but not too much. Taddle, or Dart, sorry. Um, I got up one level. So we're just going to go a little bit further into this. Um, I don't know who's a trainer and who isn't a trainer. You're not a trainer, are you? This year, the Soggy Scouts have vowed not to let Scented Super Shrooms take over overtake this route. It's my, it's my very important duty to keep an eye on the shroom population. And I did have a look, and there's some really interesting things you can get with the um, <laughs> super shroom stuff. Um, and there's one that is the potent spray, which increases our chance of finding potent and perfects. Apparently, uh, for Tadol, the humidifier is probably the best ability, so I'm tempted to switch it. Um, but you fight in Fibios, you get some really good experience. So we're just going to try and take one out. Unfortunately, Orthrolt doesn't... Uh, Orthrolt. Um, Houndos doesn't really learn anything really useful until about level 21. So at the minute, we've got... Um, we have Chomp, which is his first move, which is super effective against water. So Foul is super effective against water. But at the same time... Oh, come on. Can we take it out? Yes, we can. Good. At the same time, I need an, like a, an electric move or something on him. So he just got like a ridiculous amount of experience then just for fighting that. I'm not going to fight like everything that I see. And we're probably not going, not going on for too much longer. Uh, so Lux Recall up here. I was very tempted to use Bitty Bolt, but there's some there's another Coromon that I want to use, and I feel like I should use this instead. I could have used like um one of the other Coromon that I got as well. The um Um oh, God, it was called Buzzlet and Bazza. So this is where I got um the patch down there is where I got Taddle, so I can't get up there. So it definitely seemed to be um, patch specific. So Drupal is here. There is a couple of uh, Coromon we haven't seen in this area, so I'm wondering if they're extremely rare. Like, so if I go to my, if we go to the world map, uh, we are here. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And there's one hit. One of them has to be Fibio because I haven't caught Fibio. Um, there's something here that's like looks like it's holding a cross. So I'm wondering if that is the one that I'm potentially looking for. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it through this area because obviously I did a few cuts and stuff. Oh, he's only got one though. He's sending out Amino. Which is fine. I don't know what level... Uh, Mino evolves. Let's use Splash. Use Heated Horns. Ooh, that's gonna be a lot of damage on us. That was a crit, though. Oh, it hit three times. God damn it. <laughs> really? It's level 25, though, so I do... Because... I'm gonna have to use it, because Dart doesn't have a water move yet. Pissing horns, okay, that's fine. That's not fine. That's really, really frustrating that. Um, I don't hit once. Come on. It's really frustrating that um, Richie went down then because I really needed him to not go down. And he just got smacked up straight away. No! Gunther, come on. Don't hit me three times. Come on, two. Okay, hit twice. Come on, you do hit three times. I missed. Okay, great. That's really frustrating. Am I going to be able to take this Mino out? It's level 25, so it is really high level. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to take it out, which is very frustrating. Uh, Taddle, let's do... Slam, I guess. There's not a lot I can do here. Okay. 
Oh, now I'm like... <sighs> I don't think I've got any... Should we try and... Boost our stats a little bit. I didn't want to get stuck in a battle. That was my main thing. Was like I wanted to get a little further into it. See, that increases our special defense, but like, Mino isn't specially attacking. It's physically attacking, so that's not going to help me at all. Come on! But it's up in its attack, so it's just going to hit me once, and it's just going to like kill me. But maybe one of my Coromon can come in and just take it out. Boom! Don't hit me. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, that means that my uh, strongest Coromon are out of action. He grew to level 24. Bastion grew to level 12. I just want Bastion to get a bit more experience because we haven't really done anything with him. Again, Bastion's probably not going to be one that's going to stay on the team. Um... SP cake medium, Phoenix shard. Okay, so I can bring one of my Coromon back. Uh, aha, right, okay, so that's gonna be the exit. Oh, well, it's taking me. To... Hello? Drew, yes? It's Velma from the R&D lab. My daughter, Asfo, told me you were traversing the soggy swamp. You see, I'm extremely close to finishing something, something which might be a great breakthrough for battle researchers everywhere. That sounds awesome. What is it? The aroma module. I've been dissecting the pheromone molecules that Cormon give off in the wild. No big deal. Just my area of expertise. I just need a couple of smelly shrooms to polish off my research. Since you're the sog in the soggy swamp, mind helping me out? I'd certainly make it worth your while. You can be the very first to test out my module in the wild. A win-win for us both. Deal. Great. My thanks. I need the sweet shroom to... I need two sweet shroom, two zen shroom, and two grim shroom. And... Oh, and one bear fruit as well. Could you come find me in the campus when you got those goods? Thank you. Okay. Um, well, I am going to bring... Richie back. Let's do that. And then we'll heal him up as well. Because he is my highest level Coromon. So I've got to be careful. I will make sure to do that, because um, I'm curious to see what that does. Uh, foggy scent, okay. I know I have a few shrooms already. Uh, HP kick medium, and another phoenix shot, okay. Two spinners, thank you. I wonder if I'm going to find any of these other Coromon I haven't seen. Um... Failed to get away. Um, I think Fibio is just really fast, and that's my issue. And as to why I can't get away. Uh, well, we're going to have to fight this guy, so we haven't got a choice in the matter. How dare you block my view of this magnificent fungus? <laughs> oh, he's got three. Come on. Right. Tattle, right. <laughs> I really love, I love Tattle's design. I really like Fibio as well. I don't, like I said, I don't know if it evolves any more than that. Um, I'd be cool if it did. I gave, um, I, I don't think I ever mentioned that Richie got a new move with Snowball, but it missed, so it didn't really help. I don't know your special defense. I think Snowball's a special move. I need to check. Just took it out in one hit, nice. <laughs> Rich got 404 experience. Nice, nice, nice. Bastion got 80 experience. Uh, another title. You're just going to have titles. Please just have titles. Let's have a look. Oh, no, it's physical. Okay. Well, that would make sense. So this move here... Fibio has kept using it on me, and I'm assuming title's going to get it kind of soon. A level Well, that's level 22, so it must get it... Kind of soon there, because I think mine's mine's level 15, so it's anywhere between 15 and 22 that it's gonna get that move. Um and Aphibio, okay. His is level 24, so come on. 
I might have to leave it here after this. Oh, I missed. Okay, this is going to be annoying because I have had my axe reduced twice and it's not the most accurate move anyway. Oh, come on. And I'm going to have to recover my SP. Come on. <coughs> He's just, is he just up on his special defense? SP defense increase. Okay, come on, Richie. You can do it. Oh, no, it's reduced by accuracy again. <laughs> we got this. Come on. You got this, Richie. Come on. Three times, though. Oh, he did. He hit it. Good. It's, I don't think it's going to take it out in one hit, though. I'm like... Oh, so close. Okay, well, I can just finish it off with a scratch, hopefully. Toxic Cloud. I don't know what level uh, Tadal evolves, though, so... Either. So I'm kind of worried about when I do off-screen training. I don't want my Coromon to level up off-screen. Um, I'm going to do 50... I'll just go all attack. Okay, it's fine. And we leveled up. Do we learn a new move? No. And Bastion goes to level 13. <clears throat> we'll go. A we'll go a little bit further because there's probably going to be a few cuts in the certain bits. Okay, you're not a trainer. Based on that, clear cake. What's over here? There is sleep. Okay, so that just goes all the way around there. That's a Zentrum. Okay, I'm not going to fight them right now. So let me have a... Between episodes, I might have a look what's in these grasses. Uh, let's get that. You're not a trainer. You haven't got a thing. Oh my gosh, I'm super stoked. I wasn't assigned to the air right next to the Woodlow Harbor. Literally no Tadal live in that area. Tadal is super useful to control the spread of fungus. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, there's a house here. Should we have a look at this house? And then we'll... Oh, there's a push module thing there. Don't know what that's going to do. Uh, do I dare talk to this person? Because the last person I talked to in a house, like... The scouts are doing a wonderful job keeping the swamp nice and beautiful this year. So much so that I can can focus on my passions this year, eating wonderful, delicious fruits. Just look at these delightful morsels. Aren't they ripe, ripe into absolute perfection? Oh, thank you. And before we finish the episode off, then, I will have a look what's back here. Like I said, this is a push module, but what's that going to do? Nothing? Okay, interesting. All right, so I am going to end the episode off here. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I know there was a few cuts, and I'm glad we found um, Bitty Bolt and stuff. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to use it in this playthrough. Um, but in my personal playthrough, I'm probably going to use it there. Because I really like Bitty Bolt as a design. Um, so thank you very much for watching, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And don't forget to answer the question of the day. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.